I just realized, I just realized I don't want to be white people rich. Because like white people rich, you end up dead. For real. And I don't want to be, I don't want to be white people smart either. Because if you're white people smart, that means you're on their radar. And when you're on their radar, their jealousy kills okay because <laughs> let me just I'm gonna just stay hood rich I just want to be hood rich just just stay on my people's radar because all they gonna do is hate on me you know they can just hate on you you know what I'm saying if you ain't got no no hood beef or anything like that you should be good you know you touch down in another city you should be okay but like if you try to help people or solve world issues or create something that helps people and it actually works, oh, they're coming for you. You just just go ahead and sell. See, Dre, <laughs> Dr. Dre was smart. You know, when Beat started making all that money, you're gonna put a ton, you're gonna put a whole nother target on your back when you start making billions of dollars off of a product for some reason y'all motherfuckers don't want us to have shit y'all don't want no whoever these people are they don't want anybody to have shit i mean i don't i'm you know, i'm just like my mouth is has just dropped so much over the last five years i swear I I just, I cannot believe, like, literally, we're living life like a movie. I'm really starting to feel like movies, they just, you know, well, okay, not starting to feel like this, because we have always felt this way. I mean, like, we've been saying this for the longest, right, that life imitates art. Well, art imitates life. Like... All these movies and all this crazy shit. This shit has been going on for the longest. Movies have been telling us the truth about the world and crazy people for the longest. Literally, I feel like every fucking thing I see in a movie now, I believe it can happen. And to and it's, and it's really sad because now when you look in the real world in real time and you see weird shit, you start to question, okay, did this really happen? Or did they stage this? Because I did see this in a movie once. So you don't know if the movie like copied real life or did real life copy the movie? Like what, maybe movies are just literally creating our reality. Like every movie that's made eventually comes to to life I mean if everything is energy and we create as we speak then aren't we literally creating the shit that we see in the movies I mean maybe that's why history repeats itself because we keep on fucking repeating it in a movie so dinosaurs eventually are gonna come back I'm gonna be long gone I'm telling y'all I'm telling you now I'm not gonna be here when the damn dinosaurs come back that is not something you know, I, I mean, if the dinosaurs come back, then let us have some Transformers, too, to be on our side. Because who we got? Like, what we got fighting for us? Because, I mean, it's going to cost too much money to get the military to do it. <laughs> or what? We got to go and um, get China to allow us to borrow uh, King Kong. <laughs> I think isn't that where King Kong wasn't he? Is he from? Is King Kong from Asia? He was created. Oh no! Who did they create? They didn't create King Kong. They created Godzilla, and that's Japan. I think Godzilla is Japanese. <laughs> so what is King Kong? Is King Kong out of Africa? Is he like out of the Congo or something? Oh, so King Kong is ours. <laughs> Okay, so we got King Kong on our side. Who else we got? Well, I'm I'm taking the uh, Transformers for us. 
Let's see who else we got. We we need Alien. We need Predator. Um, who else? Who else we got, y'all, to to fight this world battle <laughs> that's probably coming to life one day? Uh, we're gonna need the um, the Justice League. We're gonna need the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. We're gonna need um, all the Marvel superheroes. All the DC comic superheroes. We need everybody. <laughs> because seriously, like, what is going on in the world? It just makes you kind of like you, you think, oh, I just want to pick up and I want to I want to leave. I want to go. I want you know, you think, oh, I want to go to Africa. Child, Africa got its own set of problems. It's beautiful, yeah, and they hide a lot of stuff from us. But it's still corrupt. It's corrupt everywhere. If you don't want to go live under a rock, it's pretty much corrupt everywhere. I mean, there's scandals and all kinds of shit going on in the dark that you just don't want to know about. So it just it just pays to be happily in, in bliss or stupidly in bliss. Like, I don't watch the news. I know some, you know, y'all are the, oh my goodness, you don't watch the news. Child, like, the news isn't going to tell me anything that that my instincts aren't going to tell me. That's the whole point of trusting your intuition. I know some of y'all like, hey, you don't know what's going on. Trust me, I know what's going on. You can't not know what's going on these days. Even if you don't watch the actual news, the internet, like Instagram, social media, all that is going to repeat it anyway. So basically, I watch the news. I just watch it TMZ style. So get off my back. All right, I know what's going on, just like you do. And if instinctually anything in this world, if it was needed that I know it, I would know it. Because literally that's what the universe's job is, to protect you and keep you from harm and fucking your life up completely. Like we screw it up a little bit, but you know, the universe will step in and guide our dumb asses at some point and be like, okay, you need to go sit the fuck down because you're ruining your life. You know, that kind of stuff happens sometimes. You know, when you get that little message and it says to you, um, don't go that way. There's an accident that way. Turn left. And you're thinking to yourself, but I don't ever go left. But your instincts, your intuition was like, bitch, go left. You heard what I said? Go left. I am leading you away from imminent danger dummy listen to me and go the fuck left and then you go left and i don't know later you're listening to the news or watching tmz or scrolling through the internet and somehow you get some kind of a pop-up message somewhere that says there's an accident and this general vicinity and that was the area that you were going to go right and you're like oh shit okay all right those are that's like tests your body your life your mind your spirit is testing you to trust your intuition that is your god sense it is your god self it is your guide and that's why Like with me, when I find out things, that's why it's so uncomfortable. Because I know that once I get a sense of who you are or what you're doing, I can't unsense it. I can't unveil it. It's one of the reasons why relationships drive me insane. Because I can always sense when something is wrong. When something's not right, it's in my stomach. And I'm like, shit. Ah, here we go. And I'm like, now I got to deal with it. And most of the time, my dealing with something is to walk away from it. Just leave it alone. You know, because there's nothing I can do about it. Most of the time, there's nothing I can do about anything except change myself. So I change the dynamic. I remove myself from the dynamic. And that changes it. So... Don't get me wrong. It's not like, oh, you don't face your issues. You don't. When it comes to other people, you can't face shit. (laughs) 
because you can't control anyone. You can't make someone do or not do, say or not say, feel or not feel. So when issues arrive and the person is not talking to you or they're not dealing with you, that's a telltale sign for you to get the hell on, haul ass. Like, obviously, they're not trying to fix anything or work anything out with you. So go. Go be happy somewhere else. So it's not about not dealing. That is dealing. Because one of the hardest things to do for people sometimes is to walk away from shit that does not suit them. I'm just saying. All right, y'all. That's it for me today. Thanks for tuning in to the Boxing Stella Podcast. Sponsored by Life in Question, the urban book of questions that you can find right here on my website, dawnofnova.com. Bye, y'all.